Okay, thank you very much uh, uh, for the coffee. It was very nice. And uh, let's I start in English for all the foreign people that are following this uh, convention. And um, I'm sorry for the Italian, but uh, it's okay. They have the translator, so we uh, have already resolved the problem. So we are talking now about the second chapter, and it's the principle of Archimedes. So the first question that Archimedes posed, posed is himself is why the boats, even if they are so heavy and so big, they are standing on the water. Uh, this is because uh, the boat is composed from the side, on the side, uh, from uh, um, a part that sure, make sure that uh, is standing good on the water. And this is because the principle of Archimedes, that now I will tell you what is this principle, because it's all about in one formulation. And the formulation is this one. First, I will tell in Italian, because it's very difficult in English to explain. But I will try. Listen to me. He said, Un corpo immerso in un fluido riceve una spinta dal basso, quindi è dal basso, attenzione, verso l'alto, pari, quindi deve essere la spinta uguale, pari al peso del volume di fluido spostato. Insomma, la, la forza che arriva da sotto, deve essere pari alla forza spostata. Va bene? Spero che sia chiaro. Spero che sia chiaro anche per me. Poi me lo chiedo stasera a casa, perché non lo so. Allora, uh, uh, one, one, the boat, one body, it's, uh, if, uh, if a big thing, uh, a boat, a body, uh, something that you, uh, you have with you, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, you put in the water, and these things is receiving uh, something from the down under through the high the the power of this is gonna be the same of the power of the volume of the boat but this is logical archimedes say and that's why i say okay because it's logical it's my principle and everybody say yeah good this is very good. Okay. Archimede, more, he created the bilancia hydrostatica. Uh, this was uh, uh, used to measure the specify, the heavy specify of the liquid. Eh? Not only liquid uh, water, but uh, any kind of liquid. No? When we are talking about liquid, we are not talking only about water. Okay? Blood is also liquid. Okay, you have you have a lot of example where you can understand this. Sometimes I also forget to put the liquid in the car. Sulla base di quelle rivelazioni, on the base of this revelation, he considered. First, I will read in Italian. Qualsiasi solido più leggero, con peso specifico minore di un fluido. Se collocato nel fluido, si immergerà in misura tale che il peso del solido sarà uguale al peso del fluido spostato. Eh. Un solido più pesante, apro e non chiudo ancora parentesi, con peso specifico maggiore, e adesso la chiudo, di un fluido, se collocato in esso, discenderà in fondo al fluido e se si peserà il solido nel fluido, risulterà più leggero del suo vero peso e la differenza di peso sarà uguale al peso del fluido spostato. Ok, it's very simple. Uh, every solid uh, that is more lightly of a, of, a, of a fluid, of a liquid, so every solid thing that is more lightly of a liquid, if this is collocated, eh? also you move this in the liquid, it will drown, drown, eh? so uh, va dentro, drip, saffon, ma non saffon tut, saffon mezzo, in, in a way that the weight 
of the solid will be the same of the weight of the liquid spostat moved okay and this is very simple but sometimes it seems simps, uh, simpson but it's not so simple because if you can imagine in which uh, uh, in which time this was discovered so when you considered uh, this uh, big uh, scientist because they are scientists you have to collocate it in the period where they born Okay, so the same you had to do with Leonardo da Vinci and with Michelangelo and Picasso and all the great artists of our world. It's very important the, the, the time in which they live in. Because if, if uh, Archimede uh, was, uh, if Leonardo, no, okay, if Archimede uh, was living in the period of Leonardo, Archimede said to Leonardo, Wow, who made that of this? That's how, wow, how you do, how you did that. So, it's very important because in the meanwhile, in the while, in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, the, the why, Jerusalem Vatra Archimedes. Okay, let's go over and we go to a very important word that it's the most important word in the, even the children knows this word because it's the big exclamation of Archimede when he uh, discovers something. No, uh, in, we in Naples we say "wa ajudruat," "wa that's it." In New York, in China, "shamlame," in uh, Al Cairo, you know, "ables." Uh, everybody says something, but the more important word was find it from uh, Archimede that he pronounced for the first time the word Eureka. No? It is very important. So, uh, fairy tales say that uh, this word was uh, uh, recorded, reported, written from the architettura of Marco Vitruvio, Pollione, because this word means I find it, ho trovato, that in ancient Greeks was the first word pronounced from Archimede one day uh, while he was making the shower. In that circumstance Archimede was going in the in the Vashka in the Vashka in the I will say I forget the word Vashka okay bagno uh, to make shower no but it's not shower it's a it's a bath bath okay i'm going to make a bath to tell you to one no 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 with this intuition he was so happy that uh, he went out uh naked from the from the bath and uh, the wife said are you fool must he shame he said don't worry because I have to find a new uh, a new word. The say say the wife, but be careful because if you are naked, it's difficult to find the word. No, no, no. I already find it, but <laughs> the wife said. <laughs> <laughs> 